Jen Densing. Uh, my particular Ignite is on moving to an island. Why, you ask? My husband decided to go to medical school down there, and it was in St. Martin. It was near Puerto Rico and right across from St. Bart's where all the rich people are. This particular island was interesting because it's the smallest landmass owned by two countries, the French and the Dutch. You knew you were on the French side when the roads got exceptionally better and the people automatically forgot how to speak English. The cost of living actually wasn't too bad. It was about $1,300 for one bedroom. Beer was cheaper than water, which is always a benefit. And haggling was highly encouraged. Food was about twice as much, however. Listen to the locals was definitely the first thing I learned. This is a picture of our apartment, and it was overlooking a beautiful lagoon, which looks pristine. Unfortunately, that lagoon was filled with a flesh-eating bacteria also known as gangrene. If the locals aren't dipping their toes in it, you might not want to either. And that's a picture of a boat that doesn't, that doesn't dip its toes in the water. Two months after we arrived on the island, we had a hurricane. When they also tell you to go and take cover, especially if you're on a beach, you might want to listen to them. This is a hurricane uh, category four called Omar and reached speeds of about 135 or 135 miles per hour. This is a picture of what they don't rebuild after the hurricane hits you. It's about 10 years after their first one. Also, electricity, electricity can be optional. We take it for granted here, but it could be out for hours. We would definitely always take cold showers. Why would you need hot water? You could take up to five, and that would be your source of cooling down. Grocery shopping was another excursion. It could happen for about all day long. Uh, this is a uh, picture of cost you less, although it's twice as much and it's cost you more. Bring a cooler, because there's one road surrounding the entire island. You want to take an offensive approach against the insects. They really uh, stake their claim when you get there, but it's really important, especially with cockroaches, that. Uh, you develop sticky traps or bay leaf bombs, boric acid, whatever Wikipedia tells you because they're right. The only thing I caught was a chihuahua in our sticky trap that our landlords had. <laughs> it had grass on its feet for days after, and they asked me why, and I said, I have no idea. That's interesting. This is when haggling goes wrong. It's also known as a Jeep or a box on wheels. Um, they took it upon themselves not to really give me the fine lining of the details that our truck would also have plywood on the bottom and it would squeal like a pig. Perfume uh, and is going to be your sunscreen and your bug repellent. You don't want to look like 80 when you leave there by not using your sunscreen. And dengue fever runs rapid with mosquitoes, so you don't want to feel like you're 80 when you get that. Clothing is optional, always sounds attractive, but uh, in reality, I never saw one person that you'd be like, oh, that looks good. <laughs> you, can, you can go to the bar and drink for free. There's another uh, benefit. Become a tourist. This is a picture of St. Martin's Airport where you think the plane might land on you. It's always really fun to find something when you're living on an island that is interesting and can catch your uh, attention. However, unlike the states, they might have this tiny sign that says, danger, if you weigh about 90 pounds under and you're going to stand behind a 747, you're going to get rocked. The jet blast will uh, affect you. Hike to a secluded beach also sounds very romantic. The key is don't hike at noon because you got lost because all the signs are in French and the soles of your shoes will wear off. Be a tourist on a beach. This is one of the best benefits of living on an island. Go to every single beach that you can find. They're awesome and it's quite possibly the most beautiful island that I've been on. And the food is exceptional. This is a French island after all. And on any island they have amazing fruit and, well, I didn't see a single cow, but you know, steaks can be interesting too. In summary, um, definitely understand the locals and be appreciative of them. Understand the states and when you have electricity. And when in doubt and your car breaks down,
go have a beer because it's cheaper than water.